This is Kim with Craft Design Studios. Today I'm going to talk about uh, Copic marker extras. I'm going to talk about what's in the side pockets of my storage, uh, tip replacement, what's in my envelope, and then refill storage. So I've talked a little bit about my storage, um, which is a hefty or a husky um, toolbox that you get at Home Depot. So in the top I keep uh, this envelope, which I also got at Home Depot, and my Copic journal, which I've talked about in another video. And then I'm just going to talk about what's in the pockets here. So here are some pens. These are two white pens. This is a Uniball and a Posca uh, Sharpie. Here are some extra nibs. Here are two pens that are having problems and we'll talk about those. These are uh, just glue sticks that I use um, in the Copic Journal. Cutter B scissors. I love these um, and I have them here because you just never know what you might need. Um, down here at the end I have a crystal light, con an empty crystal light container because I don't want to get rid of it. Um, and then this um, other big pocket over here has um, pieces of fabric and things that I use to make texture when I'm coloring. So this is some burlap, a piece of tapestry, two different weaves of denim. This is a baby wipe, that's what they're called. Another piece of burlap. Uh, terry cloth and a scrubby. So this side actually has nothing in it right now. And then this side has a shorter um, crystal light container and I put q-tips and cotton balls in it for cleaning the Topics. And then this is just a little jar that uh, I fill up when I'm traveling and I put um, rubbing alcohol in there. So I thought I would clean, our, we, I thought we'd talk about these two markers. So this marker, actually let's do this one first. This marker needs to be cleaned because who wants to color with that? So... <clears throat> It's just um, a little bit 70% rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to clean all the ink off of it and get another one. So um, and then you want to make sure you clean uh, inside the cap because I wasn't doing that for quite a while and then I realized I was putting all my nicely clean markers into a dirty, yucky, gross cap. So uh, you need to clean those. It's kind of not fully clean. So I'm just making sure that all the ink, some of the, sometimes the darker um, ink is kind of hangs around and it's because it's so pigmented. Okay, so <clears throat> that's that pen. It's all clean and I can put that away. And then this pen has a little different problem. Um, when I cleaned, well, now it doesn't have the problem. Um, when I clean that other brush, I, you know, when you go like this, this outside had actually um, come off. So there was just this weird little, um, very pointy thing on the inside. And so all you do is take this out and then put the new one in. And when I had looked at this yesterday, it did not, you know, even after 10 hours, the ink had not come all the way through. And as you can see, there's a stripe in this one. So I think that this one, um, you know, a lighter stripe, I think this one um, needs more ink and I do not have the refill for it. So I just wanted to talk through that a little bit though. Okay, 
Okay, next on my list is to talk about what's in that envelope. So here's everything that I keep in the envelope. This is just something from um, Copic that will show you all the colors that they have and all the colors that they've chosen not to do and the empty part is kind of frightening. Um, let's go over this. Oh, this is the hex chart, which I keep either in here or in my Copic journal. And um, I talked about this earlier, but this is a really important um, piece of equipment or piece, you know, a really important tool for me because it allows me to see the relationship between the colors. And then the other tool I have is a color wheel so I can find colors and complementary and colors that have different relationships to each other uh, to help the coloring pop. And then these are two little envelopes that I made. This one is has the blanks in it for uh, my Copic journal. And then this last envelope, this actually has um, things in it that I need to color for uh, my design, uh, for a design team. And what I do is I put the date that they're due on the back and then I can know that I'm working on the one that is due the soonest. And then the last thing I'm gonna talk about is refill storage which is not really that you know exciting. What I have is a bin from, I think it's from the container store. It's just something that I had and I don't really have enough for them to stand up in here and, and be nice. But for right now, it's good enough. So the only thing I would say about refills is when I was deciding whether I was gonna do um, Copic markers or not, I thought about you know how many markers there were and how much you know you'd have to spend. What I didn't think about is how those markers are gonna run out of ink, obviously. And then not only do you have to buy the pen, but in addition, you have to buy refills. So pretty much what you're gonna end up with is two things for every single color. You're gonna end up with a pen and a refill. And that is closer to 10 or $11 per pen. So it sort of doubles-ish the cost. Um, so that is my last video on this series, on my Copic series. Uh, this was Copic Extras, and I appreciate you listening and joining me. Thank you.